God, I love this music so much. All right, are you amped? Are you ready? Let's go fight. And that's it then. No more running away. Here I come. Let's do this. On guard. <laughs> the music even changed a little bit. Undyne attacks. Alright, how in the mother-loving living hell god what? Uh, how, how am I supposed to talk my way out of this one? Right, because I'm a talker, not a fighter. How do I talk my way out of becoming the seventh soul that unlocks the entire realm of the monsters? Like, I'm gonna have a hard time doing this. Okay. This music is really amping me up, I love it. Uh, plead or challenge? Challenge? You tell Undyne her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. No! Damn it! As long as you're green, you can't escape. Okay, so I need to become... red? How do I become red? Unless you learn to face danger head on. Hmm, what does that mean? You won't last a second against me. What the heck was that? I think that was a shield. Undyne suplexes a huge boulder just because she can. Alright, I'll continue to challenge you then. The bullets get even faster. Not bad. Then how about this? Ah, I see. I've got to bend it to the right way. Undyne flashes a menacing smile. Do it again. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. Oh, I got hit once. Smells like sushi. <laughs> and now, sunlight is just within our reach. Ooh, not bad. Undyne thinks of her friends and pounds the ground with her fists. Bring it on. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Okay, definitely took some damage there. Should I heal? What do I have again? I've got, uh... This is page one. I know I've got more than this, right? I definitely have more than that. Uh, well, I guess the CT is completely pointless. Doesn't that increase my movement speed? I don't... I don't think that has any point here. Unless it allows me to move my shield faster, but I doubt it. Um, but yeah, I think I've got multiple Astro food, and I think I've got a bunch of other stuff. I'm not sure how to switch the page, though. Mm, I'm not gonna heal yet. Nah, <sighs> enough warming up. Ow. Okay, now I really need to heal. Undyne bounces impatiently. I don't think I understand the... The reflecting thing entirely. They're, I don't know, they change color when they get near, and... I, I don't know, I think I'm missing something. About how it works. Alright, astronaut food has been... has been ate. Has been eaten. Maxed out. <laughs> You're tough. Oh. Oh. Jesus, took a lot of damage there. Undyne points heroically towards this guy. How do I go to page two? Well, whatever. I guess I don't want to heal yet anyway. I swear I had more items than that, didn't I? Didn't I? Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Ugh, challenge. Hey, wait a minute. I just realized I'm red now. Yeah, I just realized I'm red. Well, wait, now I'm green. W when did that happen? I, I don't know when that happened. Anyway, continue to challenge. No human has ever made it past Osgore. Flipped your spear impatiently. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Whoa! 
Okay, now I really need to heal. Where's... <laughs> don't I have more food than this? Maybe I don't. The fact that I can't go to page two, maybe that means I don't have any more food. Oh, I can't eat the snow peas. No. No, 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 I can't eat the snow peas. There's no way. The tea? I, I don't think... I don't know if it heals. Does it heal as well as making me faster? I'm gonna... Okay, it does heal. Thank God. Towers threateningly. Don't worry, snowman beast. I'll take you to the edge of the world. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh! I played Toho! Damn. <laughs> Undyne holds her fist in front of her and shakes her head. What the hell are humans made out of? I really have played Toho. Like, seriously, I have actually played Toho. I wasn't very good at it, but I did play it. <sighs> uh, Flesh is a menacing smile. Anyone else would be dead by now. Undyne points heroically towards the sky. Really low on health. Alphas told me humans were determined. Whoa, what? Oh, you! <clears throat> that bullet, I think, reversed to the opposite side of where you hit it from. Little tricky bastard. Alright, one. I think one more hit and I'm dead. I see now what she meant by that. Here we go. Oh! That's, like, impossible. Come on. <laughs> Our fate rests upon you. Uh, stay determined. Uh, uh. Um... How many items do I actually have? Well, that really is all I have. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I need more items, but isn't it a long way back? Like, isn't it a really long way back? I'm pretty sure it's a really, really, really long way back. I've got a sh crap ton of money, though. Okay, um, I'm either gonna go back or I'm just gonna continue the fight, and when I get back to reasonably close to where I was before, I will cut to that point. And we're back. Alright, I was going to skip to when I was roughly where I was at before in the fight. But I actually want to show the whole fight because I think it's really epic and really cool. But what I did do is go all the way back, which was a very long way, and I had a lot of encounters. Uh, I went all the way back to the salesperson. The turtle guy? The old turtle guy, I think he is, or something like that. And I filled up my entire inventory with as much crab apples as I can. Each one restores like, what, 17, uh, 18 HP, so pretty much full health. And I also equipped my Dirty Tutu instead of the old glasses, because I think they're going to give me... Well, they definitely give me a lot more defense, and I think that's going to be more useful than the increased time... In, increased invincibility frames that I think the other glasses gave me. So I should be much better equipped. Let's do this. This music. God, I love it. I still think there's something to learn about this fight, though, unless you face danger head-on. I don't know if that just means I need to keep taunting her, or if it means something else. Is it the red ones? Wait a minute. Was it the red projectile? There was a projectile that was red. I think maybe I need to get hit by it. I think... I think maybe that's it. Yeah, let's get hit by that one. That? No, that didn't do anything. Hmm. No, I think the red just tells you which one is next. Like, which direction is the next projectile. I think that's all it says. Yep, 
Yeah, that's all it means. Oh wow, I really messed that up. Oh, now I'm red. Okay, uh... Like, I can't... Should I use this opportunity to try to say spare me? Because I'm red now. I should use it for something. Something more than acting, so... Yeah, let's... I kind of need to heal, but let's mercy. Mercy? Ha! <laughs> I still can't believe you want to spare me! Hmm. I was drinking water! Don't kill me! Okay, now I really need to heal. Yeah, now I can go to page two. Oh, maybe I should have done Mercy again. I don't know, it looks like she swipes her spear to turn me either red or green, and it just kind of flip-flops between the two. So I guess I just need to keep buying my time until she turns me red again. Whew. What the? Wait, why was the one on the left red? Was it just lying about it being the next one? I guess so. Okay, how close am I to where I was before? Stop being so damn resilient? Alright, I think we're getting near. Whew. I always get hit by that last spear, but okay, now I'm right again. So, mercy. What the hell are humans made out of? I'm still red, so I guess... Spare? There we go, got the tricky one. Nice. I see now what she meant by that. Okay, now I'm very close to where I was before. Still took some damage, but not too bad. Don't need to heal yet. But I'm determined to... Okay, I think we're to new attacks now. Whoa, what the... F <laughs> what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, should I heal now? I feel like I should. Yeah, I'm gonna heal. It's blade safe. Determined to end this right now. Oof. Took six damage. Right now. Right now. Heal again. Ah, die already, you little brat. Jesus. Ah. 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 Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Really? I mean, uh... Fine. We'll do this again. This time I am actually going to cut to when I get to around that area, though. <laughs> this is really hard. Okay, here we go. I think I'm right about to where I was before. 
Yeah, I think so. Um, should I heal? How many crab apples do I have left? One, two. Oh, I've only got two left. Oh my god, I've eaten through so many. All right, I'm gonna have to conserve my health and wait till I'm lower before I eat them. I will never take mercy from the likes of you. Undyne's eyes dart around to see if this is a prank. Ooh, I'm red. I just realized that. Mercy. You will never spare me! Undyne is hyperventilating. <gasps> I think I'm winning. Oh god. Fuck. I feel like I should heal. Like, I feel like I'm close to the end of the fight and I should just heal. Should I just heal? No. Toho, save me! Undyne is smashing spears on the ground. It's working! It's working! Now I should heal. Yeah, now I'm at 8 health, let's heal. My man's eyes are around to see if this is a prank. Okay. Is anything happening? Is this working? I'm hoping. Hmm. I don't know. The, the dialogue doesn't seem to be changing. Should I keep doing this? <laughs> Should I challenge? I'm gonna keep doing it. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. Oh, yeah, okay, it's doing something. Eye is twitching involuntarily. Yes, 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 yes. It's working. She's losing patience. Oh my god. When is it ever gonna stop? Maybe it's not changing. I don't know. Do I keep doing this? <laughs> I don't know if I keep doing this. <gasps> it doesn't seem to be doing anything. I don't, I don't know. Do I challenge? I'm gonna challenge. That didn't seem to do anything either. Do I plead? I'm not gonna plead. Should I plead? Nah. Dear God, is it ever gonna end? Fuck me! I don't think it's doing anything! What do I do? Do I just flee? I mean, I could try. Supposedly, she never gives up. Maybe that's literally true. What are my options? Challenging doesn't seem to work. I can either keep doing what I'm doing, or I can plead, or I can flee. No. Stay the course. I don't think it's doing anything! 
I, I don't have faith. I can't stay the course. Flee? Escaped. Stop running away! That didn't really do anything, did it? Goodbye. Ooh. Welcome to- oh. Do I just need to keep running away? Come back here, you little punk. Uh, no. This is a bad time for a phone call. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking, uh, you, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you'd make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Click. Okay, yeah, great idea. Hey, hey, Sans! Sans! Stop sleeping! Come back here, you little punk! So hot, but I can't give up. Oh, do you need some water? That's a water cooler. Take a cup? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you take a cup of water. Give Undyne the water? Of course. <laughs> Just, like, poured it on her cheek. <laughs> okay, bye. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Well, I guess that's that. <laughs> She's too bewildered by the fact that I helped her. Oh, what do I need to do to pass you? Sorry, Undyne, like, told us there was totally a human in the area. So, like, us rail guards are blocking off the elevators for now? Even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undyne. What? Like, no way you're getting by us. But between you and me, I think you can go through that creepy lab over there. Between you, me, and my bro here, I mean. I tell him all my secrets. Cool. Thanks for the tip. Hey, what are you? Tra la la, I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Ride in the boat? Uh, no thanks. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. I do want to go, but I want to see what's off to the right first. Is this the lab? That is the lab. Okay. And if that's going to get me through by going through the lab, then I want to go here first. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Where will we go today? Oh, I can go back! Where's the waterfall? Then we're off. That's all those spots that I saw before where there was water, but I couldn't do anything and it seemed pointless. That must be where the, uh, the river ghost person is <laughs> gonna stop. Tra-la-la, humans, monsters, flowers... Come again sometime. I will. I want to go buy some stuff. Please give me, like, a million more crab apples. I'll leave one spot in my inventory. Oh my god, I just realized the head of the boat is like a little dog or a cat. I think it's a dog.
Hotland. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, the boat seems different. Also, we're going the wrong way. Tra la la, Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. What? <laughs> Thanks. Whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> I thought that was a light around me, but no, I think that's a security cam or something. It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. Ah, too dark. Alright, so I've got to turn on the lights. My god, I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um, uh, hey, I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. B -b but, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Oh, that's why there's been cameras in the bushes and stuff that I've found. That's from Alphys. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. This is so, uh... Now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well... Actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named... Metaton. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um... Anti... Anti-human combat features? Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, uh, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood? <laughs> but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. He's here, right, like, right behind you, isn't he? Did you hear something? Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. To today's quiz show! <laughs> oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant! <laughs> it's the clap, like, midi sound. <laughs> Never played before, gorgeous? No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. <laughs> Metaton attacks. Oh my god, this is gonna be amazing. Yes, quiz me, quiz me. Wait, the only thing I can do is, is cry? Uh, that doesn't seem productive. I guess I'll cry? Screaming is against the rules. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Oh, I'm time limited. Also, the time goes down a lot faster than it seems like it should. Those aren't seconds. Uh, mercy. Haha, <laughs> you wish wrong! Oh. Um, I think I need to heal. Here's your terrific prize! What's the king's full name? 
Uh, Asgore Dreamer. Correct! What a terrific answer! Does it even matter what I do? I think I'm just gonna get quizzed anyway. I guess. Enough about you, let's talk about me! What are robots made of? Uh... Metal and magic? Too easy for you, huh? Quiz show continues. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train simultaneously to station A and station B's. What? Mm. What? Damn it! Heal. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? What? What the fuck? I don't know. A lot. Somewhere in the fifties. Oh, they're all in the fifties. I don't know. Middle answer. 53. Fuck! More apples. Stuff the apples in your face. Let's play memory game. Oh, you're right. Uh, what monster is this? Um, oh, that's a frog. Uh, frog it. Yeah. Easy. What? What? You! You're wearing a frog it shirt, you... Mm. But can you get this one? Would you smooch a ghost? Heck yeah! Great answer, I love it! Here's a simple one. How many letters in the name Metaton? One to... what? Well, it depends. It's going up. <laughs> Can't you read? Uh, I've only got one crab apple left. <laughs> Time to break out the big guns. In the dating simulation video game, new... What? New Mew? Kissing Kitty? What is Mew? What? In the fourth chapter, everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it. It's one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about <gasps> friendship and... Alphys, Alphys, Alphys. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? Oh, I've got unlimited time. Well, don't know is the obvious answer, but they're helping me, so I'm gonna say me. Seriously? My, my. How conceited can you get? Well, it seemed like they did, because they've been watching me, and I don't know, I kept sweating, and he seemed nervous, and I don't, I don't know. I love it! And while you were completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen. Smiling when you succeed. Shrieking when you fail. And always, always whispering. No, wrong, you have to go that way. In its own way, is this not love? Well, well, well. But Dr. Alf is helping you. The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this. But. But. This was just the pilot episode! Next up, more drama! More romance! More bloodshed! Until next time, darlings. <laughs> Is it gonna go through the roof? It just, like, rocketed off. Well, that was certainly something. Yes. Yes, it was. Also, there's a giant bag of dog food. Is there an appropriately giant dog? It's a bag of dog food. It's half full. Wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could... Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. I can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> hey. Okay, come on, they're totally in love with me. I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> They're adorable. <laughs> okay, so I can do a lot more, huh? Uh... Dimensional box A and B? What? Let's see if Toriel answers now. 
Nope. Hey, Papyrus, how you doing? A lab? My brother would love that. He loves science fiction. Especially when it's real. <laughs> well, then it's not fiction. It's just science. It's called Dimensional Box A. Oh. Oh, I can... Mm, that's what he meant. Or she meant. I can mobily access my box. I don't have a need for any of those things. What about... Box B? I've got two boxes! Cool! The fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? <laughs> yes! Got the instant noodles. Instant noodles heals HP, comes with everything you need for a quick meal. Can I take more? Nope. It's a beat up figurine of a female human with cat ears. It's a teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Who puts soda in a teacup? Oh, wait, actually I've done that before. <laughs> I, I have done that before. It's a computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Hmm? Seems like the notes to something, but it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... Space behind the wall is only a few feet wide. Oh, where did it jet off to then? It's a bathroom sign. Yellow feet are tapping just behind the door. Oh, they're really nervous. <laughs> Ooh, let's go back into the lab. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They're all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Let's read one. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Let's read one. Another comic book. A hideous android is running to school with a toast in its mouth. Oh my god. Like the anime cliche. Seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Oh. Pink goop drips from this strange machine. What the heck is that thing? Oh my god, what is that picture? <laughs> what is that picture? <laughs> Looks like Alpha's work table. Seems dusty. Why is everything dusty? What has Alpha's been doing? Can I look at the picture? No. Nope. Well, I mean, I can look at the picture with my eyes, but I can't examine it. It's cute. Maybe too cute. Wardrobe is full of dirty lap coats. And a single clean dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy to draw box. <laughs> it's a promo poster for Metaton's TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Oh, Alphys is gone? Where'd you go, Alphys? Wait, did that just move? I swear the box just moved. In fact, I'm going to go back up there and look at it again. 
Huh. Guess it's just my imagination. Can I call Alphys? I thought they said I could call them, but I can't seem to. I can only access my boxes. Huh. Do they never give me their number? Hmm. Alphys updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undyne fight the human. Oh. <laughs> well, I know she's unbeatable. I, I'll ask her about it later. <laughs> For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. <laughs> Those faces. <laughs> hmm? Vulcan strolls in. Is it dreaming of, like, cinnamon buns or something? Those look like cinnamon buns coming out of its head. Although I... Obviously it's a volcano, so I guess it's supposed to be... Like, ash, but it doesn't look like ash. It looks like food. Uh... Let's hug a volcano. Should be nice and warm. Give Vulcan a hug. It warms your heart! And your whole body. Ouch, your defense dropped. Oh. Ah, so lovely! Oh, oh, Toho! Toho! Vulcan's cheeks glow with a bright heat. Oh, wait, I think that's all I needed to do. Just hug it? Yeah, I just needed to hug it. Oh, this music. Can I call them in a minute? I'm not even gonna move. No need. This music's so cool. Oh, thank God it's a point. The whooshing sound of steam and cogs, it fills you with determination. Oh, this music's so good! You know what? I'm gonna end this episode here, but I'm gonna just leave like the last 20 minutes of the episode after I'm done talking. Or 20, 20 minutes? Did I just say 20 minutes? I'm gonna leave the, the next like 20 seconds after I'm done talking with just the music so you can listen to it because my god is it good. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. I'll be back soon and enjoy the music.